G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die, we're back in Alpha 20, coming into day 24 of our Mega City series, 24 days has gone by in a blink, I'm not gonna lie, but we're still pushing and still making bad decisions that we somehow managed to muppet our way out of, and at the moment, I'm nearing the top of Dishong Tower, the sun is getting bright outside, I can survey all my surroundings, but most importantly, I can now see the zombies that are inevitably going to be coming for me. There is the morning chime, so I can now take off. I didn't hear the sound of any zombies dying overnight from timing out, so this might be a little bit... A little bit dicey first thing in the morning, but I'll take my time, try not to panic again, and try not to get myself caught up and caught into a corner. There's a lot of corner words. Uh, with all the zombies coming for me. And just pray I make it through. I can see the toesies of someone over there, but I know that I can't hit... Oh, oh that's a body. Okay. And those are spikes. Even more okay. Let's we'll quickly just sort you out. Any, like, extra angles I can get on these guys? Oh, the better. Oh, God, they're everywhere. Okay, easy. Stop it. Just stop right there. Thank you very much. And one headshot for you and another headshot for you, but of a different kind. Hey, look at you, bud. You got a nice big shaft going on there. Stripper tees will be thrilled. That may be, of all the videos I've made, of which there are many, that may be the shortest from intro to dick joke that I've done. Maybe ever, but at least in a while. That was a... Oh, God, good day, bud. That was some um super speedy... <laughs> I've... I've how do I phrase this the best? That's the fastest I've ever gone below the belt ever before. Oh, I forgot to have my snacks. So I'll quickly slurp on down some rations and gurgle down some coffee. Nice. Okay. Everyone up here should now be dead. Because I did like punch out a window and have a bit of a different angle on things. Which gives me a better chance of survival. It's not about playing with brute, fo brute force even when you're playing agility. It's all about playing smart. Which is probably why I'm having so much trouble with it. Oh, boy. Okay, try not to fall off again this time, please, Josh. You made a hash of it last time. <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Just take a moment of serenity to appreciate the view of the mountain range before you go inside and probably have your eyeballs chiseled out of here. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's one there. I can kill you. If I can do a lot of my damage from outside without them waking up, that would be the best option for me. Make sure we're walking on solid ground and not falling screaming to our deaths. Get you. Thank you for the generous donation to the Josh Tries Not To Die Fund. Up. Look around. I don't see anyone else. It doesn't mean they're not there. Oh, no, you're already dead. Where are they? They're, they're gonna be hiding. I know there's more. There's the feral. Make sure we get a nice clean headshot on you. And I don't think there's any others. Let's make a bit of a ruckus and see if anyone wakes up to come and try and have a chat to us about something. Not all looking fine. Okay, quickly grab you back and check your baggy. Oh, look at that. I just had exactly that. I will take a restock. Thank you very much. Need to check all the desks, desks and things as well. I cannot talk. Admittedly, like, this has been a pretty long endeavor for me. I'm getting tired because Dishong is taking it out of me. But I'm doing my best, but my vocabulary is struggling. Oh, good day, buddy boy. Where the shit did you come from? You came from down there, but I've been making a ruckus for a little bit now, and you're just biding your time. That's, ooh, that's kind of fun though. That's gonna, gonna how it, mm, that's how it's gonna be. I'm just not having a day today. That's how I think it's gonna be for Alpha 21 when they bring out the wandering sleepers. So the ones like, they'll be sleeping zombies, but they'll be shambling about. Kind of like the wanderers on the roads, but inside POIs. So yeah, you wouldn't have this kind of like a predictable experience rating, which is gonna be really bloody cool. And I'm excited for that. Speaking of actually, this should be the stairwell. It's a new day, and I'm pretty sure that the vending machines restock every 24 hours. Because that's how it used to be. And there was the working vendor down on the gym level. So if I quickly head on down, uh, see if there's any other candies for me to buy, I can also stop off at my stairwell base and grab anything else I might need. Always good to have a cheeky pit stop every now and again. The vendor's just through this security gate, which thankfully is no longer as strong as it once was. Pop you open and have a squeeze. 
Another eye candy, couple of jailbreakers. Health bar would be good for me to have as well, actually. I don't have any yet. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was kind of hoping to get some uh, oh shit drops out of you. Purely so when I get the loot at the very tippy top, I can just yeet myself off the side and not have to worry about making my way down this little staircase of death again. There's my box. I'll chuck you away and you away. Those can stay with me. All right. It's very gloomy and very rainy, but it looks like it's raining in the middle of the stairwell. That's fine. Mind your step. Shit's getting slippery. Now we're getting into the thick of it. Now we can see what's ahead of us. So this floor's done. One, two, three, then the roof. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're getting it done today. Whether I like it or not, I'm either going to take the loot home with me or the zombies are taking me home with them. Oh, the frame rates chug along like it's made of molasses. Which means there's a lot of zombies around. I don't know why it's struggling so much now. I forgot there was bookcases back there, wasn't there? I forgot them. I need to go back and get them. I don't know why it's struggling so much now when it's been fine for like, the three weeks leading up to this. But apparently it's just something about Dishong that it doesn't like. Almost like it's trying to ward me away from doing something like this. Here we go. Here's the bookcases I forgot last time. Ooh, Urban Co Ooh, let her cross cigars. I mean, it's the Urban Combat uh, series, which I'll never begrudge, but cigars aren't super, you bastard, aren't super important, given I already have one. Son of a bitch. I needed a Dolce schematic, an SMG schematic, or um, a mini bike chassis schematic. I found a bicycle chassis and a 44. Oh, it's not what I needed at all, but I'm just going to have to roll with it anyway. Because beggars can't be choosers, and I'm definitely begging at this point. Oh, no. It's gone. They took, they got rid of the drum rosa, and they got rid of the toilet of champions. You can no longer drop off your stun buttons with a view. This is gone. All right. Another piece of history has gone by the wayside. I'm not pleased about it, but there's not much I can do about it. Hmm, checking you first. I think you're just an empty office. This is where things just start getting pretty sketcho. You know, you're going around, you're looking for stuff, but ooh, sometimes you find good things, but often you find nothing. Or in this case, you find a cheeky safe. I've got 15 lock picks. I might leave you. I might leave you and then do that one and all like the good loot. Everything from here on out, I think I'll wait till I have the loot candy going. I think that's, I think that's a wise decision. What is this? I thought it was just gonna, like, I th it was a munitions box, but I didn't think it'd be specifically a red munitions box. Oh man, I've got an itch to rage you, but if I'm coming back here with a loot and candy to get into you, I may as well grab that with a loot and candy as well. And shit, and just try and leave all of the good loot, like, all the good loot I'm trying to find up here for the loot and candy. There we go. Also, by the way, that like zombie face peering through the smoke just then was ominous as shit, but I was too busy being panicked to really pay attention to it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Red ammo crate. That's very interesting. There's another working vendor just here, but there's no time to grab yourself a cheeky Snickers when there's probably a lot of uh, zombies around here. That door's locked. That door's unlocked, but it is a bit of a choke point. <gasps> More books. Fuck. Uh, no, that one. Oh, God. I had to take the chance to put it down. I'm not sure if I did, but I hope I did a decent enough job. Because I can kill her now. Oh, just keep on firing. Fuck it. That was not great. That was not great at all. That last dance went full Neo spec and dodged every bit of hot lead I put at her. Okay. Scary, scary times. Things are getting real dicey at the top of the building. Uh, I am going to use you, maybe? 30 health? Maybe I'll just hold off on it. I'll hold off on it for now. Oh, God. That's, um, that's got me going. That's got me pumping early in the morning. Check the bookcases. Hopefully find the first aid schematic. Nothing in you. No, I was going to say, throw that away. And anything in you? No, but it's schematic all the same. So we're kind of on the right track, I suppose. Anything through here, which should be relatively clear now, given the ruckus I just caused in the kitchen. Which actually reminds me, I never checked the vendo. What have you got for me? Sugar butts, worthless. Rock bars are potentially useful, but I don't really have the space for you right now. Still no oh shit drops, though. 
interesting. Disappointing, but interesting all the same. Check in you. Nothing there. Come on, give me something. I'm near the top of the sky. I'm close enough to the gods for you to hear my requests. Now I know you're just flat out ignoring me. Got some more bookcases here. If, ooh, damn it. It doesn't help me at all. Again, there's no traders for it. Ooh, urban comment. Sneaking over trash makes no sound. That gets me a little bit fizzy. Thank you very much. Well, it's in the last one. Where's some volume and treasures? Learn how to harvest brass from doors. I never have issues with the amount of brass I have anymore, but thank you anyway. Was it this one or is there another one coming up? Ooh, I'm not sure which one it was where I found on that fateful day, Pistol Pete. Volume 5. Volume 5? I think it was Volume 5. The one Pistol Pete book that I needed at the end of the Doomsday series. I found it up here. Oh, that, uh, that lives very clearly in my memories. I'm not sure which it was because all of this has changed around pretty significantly. No one in them. I can now sneak over you without having to worry an ounce about it. No one them. Oh, definitely some ups in there though. Could we just pick up that chair so I can get a shot at you? That didn't wake anyone up. Quick and murder you. Well, I've got the look seat at you because you are right in the doorway. There we go. The problem I have now with stealth stuff, it, like now I specced into it, it's, it's much more usable than it was. But there's still, like with that rad, there's still invisible wake up lines, which I have to be wary about. Any someone pushing forward at all, regardless of how stealthy quiet I'm being, I have the chance just to wake people up just because fuck you, that's why. So I don't want to push ahead when I have the open shot at someone. Check you for some more ammo. Cheese, big ears. Speaking of big ears, got anything? No, nothing. Okay, only a little bit to go, Josh. Keep on going. Yet more books over there. I feel like there's more books in here than there once was. There's only like maybe like six bookshelves way back when. There's definitely more now. And yeah, now the total of champions is definitely gone. I thought maybe it'd be on the other side of the building, but no luck. Because look at that though. Why wouldn't you want to drop off your stun buttons while looking out over there? There's some like scattered buildings out there between the coastline and the mountain range. That's kind of interesting. Quickly have a gander through you. Nothing on that one. Nothing on that one. And last but not least, something I've already read. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Can't win them all, I suppose. I wouldn't mind winning one or two just at some point. This place has ambush written all over it. There you are. You didn't wake up when I trundled in, so that's good. Any others? No, just you. No one behind the curtain. Nah, we're looking fine. Oh, God. Oh, oh that, was, that was a Lisa. I see ya. I see it. Just like lean out just a little bit. There you go. Got your Captain Phillips. No bot. Oh, I did get a bot back out of you, actually. Never mind. Um, I did just kind of have the thought that potentially on the other side of the building where the other break is, because it kind of breaks up on both sides, I may have missed like a safe or something down there, because I think you can skirt along the edge into a room that's otherwise not accessible. No one down there. I'll go behind the couch and try and sneak up behind someone. Yeah, there you are. Put you down. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing all right. Oh, look at you two. Oh, that would normally get me up and about and swinging my pants over my head like it's a bloody lasso. But not this time. That's not what I need this time around. It's always the way though. When you start like dedicating yourself to a certain line of, of weaponry, that's when the game's like, hey, do you want to make every other kind of gun that you're not expecting to? It's always so frustrating. Such a cock tease. Yeah, that one. That's the one I was thinking of. It's an office that you can't access easily that I've just kind of gone past. Might quickly get back down there in a moment and <gasps> shit and uh, see what it's got for me. See what Arlene's got for me as well in a second. There's a big ammo pile over there. I'll go and have a look through in a moment soon. You're gone. I think we're pretty right for the re Ooh. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Too early. Early crow, Josh, is a bad idea. Come on. Come on, you great Galar. Get out of here and flap about a bit. I'm ready for you. Don't wait for me. There you go. <laughs> and there you go again. Bit of a different manner this time. Did I check all of you? No, I didn't. Just a couple of... Well, just one bone even. Uh, don't need either of you. Okay. Okay. Well, before I get too distracted then, Arlene, what are you giving me? 
<laughs> you gave me a trophy. Cheers, lass. I appreciate that, I suppose. Put it up with my other participation trophies. That's all Arlene's ever given me. Not even a pat on the back. Anything in you? I'll just eat you right away. I've got the floors to build back, uh, back up anyway. That just gives me some free health. All right, first things first. I need to get this ammo pile over here. Yet another little cordoned off area. Have a squeeze through you. What you got? Scrap you. Take the 44 for just the one day we might have... <gasps> Fucking hell. Oh, oh, lag spike. Please, not now. Oh, God. Okay, back inside where it's slightly safer. What was I even talking about? I don't even know. I don't even know. My soul left my body there for a second. Oh, there's no safe in here. Maybe it was on the other side then. I remember this bit as being a pretty significant choke point that I'm not especially thrilled with the idea of getting trapped in. Although, with my sweet parkour abilities, can I get... Ooh, g'day, bud. Can I get down there, then hop and scoot back up again without too much drama? It's pretty dicey, but we'll see how we go. There's usually someone asleep over here. Although it used to be like military guys and there was all like a like military checkpoint here, but where the shit is everyone? It's another Vendo. What? Why is it quiet? Why is there no one here? This should be rancid with zombies, but there's no one around. All right, well, I'll take that blessing and try not to question it. Still lots more place to get dicked over later. God, this is taking forever. I'm trying to push, but the red chair lounge is looking pretty uh, sketchy. There is definitely someone there, but I don't think I can shoot them past their uh, desk chair. Try that one. Fuck. No. Okay, bad idea. Bad idea. Let's go down just a little bit. Sounds like quite a few of them have woken up. Oh, God, and they're all going to be coming for me. There we go. Put you down. Quickly reload the pistol while we have the opportunity soon. Just wait here. They have to come to me. So I should be able to get the drop on them. And then drop them. Like that. Cheeky reload. Gonna need, if things kick off, I'm going to need all the ammo I could possibly get without any delay. Nice clean kill. He sounds very close. Sure enough, he is. Couple of them, too. Don't bother getting up, lad. It's fine. I'll get it myself. We okay? We good? It's just always so sketchy when you hear so many moaning and groaning. Grab you. Another safe. All right. Nice. Keep it in mind for later. Keep on going. Here we go. Finally, a better noggin protector. And rolling with the assassin hood for a little while. I don't think... Actually, hang on a second. You've got only two slots in you, I think. Yeah. So I'd have to lose... The armor plating mod? And is that giving me more protection from that? Like, you're at 9.4 already, and you're at 7.3. Does that take into account the extra protection you get out of uh, the banded armor plating mod? So that's only plus two. And the difference there is about two. So it's hard to know. I think I'm going to keep the padded hood just for now, because, I mean, it means I'm quieter, so I can sneak my way around a bit better. But it's hard to know what the right call on that one is. There's that cordoned off arrow I was talking about before, actually. Can I just, like, go like that, land on the rubble? There we go. Try not to twist your ankle. It was over here, wasn't it? Oh, no. There's nothing here. Okay. Fair enough, then. It was worth the squeeze, though, just to make doubly sure. I'll just use this to try and get myself back up and at him again. Like that. Nope. That's a shit jump, Josh. You may have springs for legs, but you still don't know how to use them. Damn it! There's lots of spikes around, and I'm looking for any zombies that might be around. Just peek on through the windows. No, nope, I thought I just walked over one for a second there, but no, not looking like there's anyone at home. Man, if I was not at reception, not sure what I was really expecting up in the executive suite. They're all out dying on the golf course somewhere. Get you out of the way. Someone out the back. Nope, yep, no, they're all playing the links. There's no one here. Well, this is new. This looks especially sketchy. Are you hiding something underneath you? No, you're not. Not them. Not on that side either. All right, never mind then. There's no one up on the roof here because it's only one block high. An empty safe. Damn it. Seems there were some important documents I had to take to the golf course. Had to take their little, like, distances notebook with them to figure out how far they can slice their pitching wedge into the next fairway. And, oh, I see some feetsies. Easy. 
No one else? Okay, yep, we're good. We're good. We're fine. Just nice and slowly. This is why I wanted to keep the hood on, because it means I can move so much quieter than I could with the clunky football helmet. I bloody hate these jumps. They're always so sketchy. Even with the super springy parkour, I still don't trust myself to actually get it done. Have a little peek around to see if there's a bird. <laughs> That's not the bird I had in mind, but all right. Fair enough then. Shoot you in the mouth and put you down for a nap. Mm, no one over there, but we are. Oh, this is the last level because the loot room's on this level. I have to go, go through the roof to get to it, but we're almost there. Oh, oh, fuck. Holy fuck you, lag. Of all the times to give me a lag spike, the moment I'm trying to press jump is not the fucking time. The game is trying to dick me. The game is trying to dick me with all of its might. Thank God I landed on the beam down below. There we go. All right, let's not do that again. That wasn't fun. I assume one of these is the loot room. I'm guessing that one because it has the strong iron door where the rest of these are all just regular wooden ones. Or we could close you because there will be zombies in there and have a bit of a gander through this one. Knock, knock, anyone home. I'm only here to smash and grab and take all of your valuables. I'll leave your TV though, because, well, <laughs> there's nothing to watch. Although, even these days before the apocalypse, there's nothing to watch either. So, not really missing anything. Extra lockpick. Did I raid that one? Could I have raided that one? Which side am I on? No, I raided that one, but I haven't hit that one yet. Wow, I missed that one entirely. Okay, well, I can get back up here. So, I guess we're going to have a bit of a look. Down we go. Didn't hurt yourself. Nice, nice. Ooh, that's dicey. But I like my chances! Damn it! Damn it, me! I don't like my chances at all! Fuck! I didn't bring my splint with me. I think I did have one, but I don't remember. I can just make myself one. I have some duct tape. There we go. Let's make one of you right now. And I've left my sneakers bars downstairs as well to give you some extra healing goodness. Son of a bitch, Josh. How do you do this so badly every time? Okay, we can't jump anymore, so we're just going to have to go a bit of a weird way to get ourselves back up to where we were. I still need to go and check out what was in that bloody room, because now that I like broke my ankle trying to do it, I refuse to let it go. Here we go. Up we go. Only hurt a little bit, but that's all right. Whoa, ooh, here we go. A, a safe and a weapons bag. I'm trying to leave the good gubs till I have the loot and candy going. So it's not really something I want to get into right now. But it is something that I'll try and make a note of. So future me can come here and not be a galah. And hopefully not fall to his bleeding death again. I shall take you back and I'll just go like this. I'll make myself a nice easy platform to get my way across. And then I won't run the risk. Oh, that's a long way down. I won't run the risk of forgetting about it. Because there'll be this big thing here to remind me. But also... <laughs> I don't know what the also is. Also, hopefully, I'll get something good out of it. Definitely not taking any chances with these jumps again. I couldn't do it when I had both working legs. There's no way I can do it with half of one. Up we go. And chuck you along there like that. Really, I should do that every time anyway. Just remove any of the chances the game has to dick me. But I don't know. I just can't help myself. I always want to risk it for the biscuit. And quite often, I'm not getting that Tim Tam. That's just a corpse, not a- Oh, God, that's a zombie. <laughs> Sorry, Bardos is ogling your previous friend. Anyone in here? Nope, that's those aren't feet. It's just a claw-footed bathtub. Can confuse you when you're paranoid like I am. Nothing in you. Got like a plastic cast for me? No, of course you bloody don't. When I actually need some medical supplies, there's none to be found. Oh, cowboy boots. Just rubbing salt into my broken wounds. There's an ammo box on the other side of that wall there, which is tickling me jibbles just a bit. Can I pop you open? There we go. Whip out the old crossbow again and see what's awaiting me. Just stick to the wall. I The biggest problem now that I've broken my legs is, oh, other than hurting myself every time I move, is that if I do get in a strife, I can't run anymore. My evacuation plan is no longer stop with the lag spikes, you bastard. So if things go pear-shaped, like her hips, then there's not a lot I can do to get out of there. I'm just going to have to sit there and deal with it. And trust me, when it comes to dealing with hips, I ain't got no game. I tell you what, of all the times ever to not have a broken leg, or I wish I didn't have a broken leg, it was right now. I'm about to go and fight the top edition, like the hardest battle in this game. 
I'm about to go and fight it on one leg. <laughs> Maybe I should just not. Maybe I should just go away and wait like half an hour and come back later. But it's already half past six. Mm, I don't think I have that choice. I don't think I have the choice to do that. I've got to do it, right? I've got to... Oh, I gotta try. I can't call it then. I would never, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I bitched out of it. I'm just gonna have to do my best, and if I die, I guess I die. Oh, this is not good though. This is not good at all. So I've got my health bar there, which I guess now is as good a time as any of the chucky in. It'll take 10 minutes in five minutes off my, uh, off my time. The rest of you guys can all go away. Is there anything else in here that's actually gonna help me? Steroids. Now. Is it still the thing that using steroids negates the broken leg thing, right? So I can still move quickly and it's not going to hurt me anymore to use it. If it does, that might be my only chance of getting through this. So I'll take that with me. I'll use you because I've got a little bit of gray area there to fill up on. Uh, everything else is looking pretty bright as rain. You can go into them. I'm just going to have to do it, aren't I? I'm just going to have to do it and see how we go. I'll get back to the roof first, and before I take on the battle, I'll stick that in the old gluteus and see what it does to me. This is not how I saw this going down. Not by a long way. All right. It's now or never. Chuck it in and just hope it works out for me. I'm not going to try and put that to the test until, well, until I really need to, really. Chuck you there and just get over to them. I want to try and go as quietly as possible into this as I realistically can. Because if I can just avoid waking up everybody before it's too late, that's going to save me a lot of heartache and possibly my death. Oh, it's all new though. This is not a good way to be experiencing new Dishong for the first time. Please don't walk off the edge, Josh, you utter muppets. It is definitely something I can see you doing, and I really don't want to do that if I can at all avoid it. Stick to the edge, and see what we can see, 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 like we're a sailor on the blue stuff. Mm, no, no one there. Oh, I don't know where the invisible lines are going to be, though. All of my points into all of my stealth mean dick all right now, because if it decides... Oh, there's one. Can I hit that? I don't know if I can shoot through those louvers or not. Ah! Ah! I'm scared! What's oh, mate? Level up! No! Ah, it's a feral fucking soldier! Okay, easy does it. Wait, wait. Hang on, just stay there sleeping for a moment. It's gotta be that one, right? Especially for a rad. Please die, 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 please die! He didn't die! Fuck! We gotta go! We gotta go! We woke up! Every fucking body! Get back inside! Get back inside, Josh! Inside is safety! Okay! Okay! Bad times for everyone! I should have brought some more fucking health with me! That was a bad decision! Can't hit you! There's lots of birds upstairs! Oh my god, and there's lots of bad times coming through the door. That frame gave me an extra moment or two. Do I want to go down here? Well, too late now. I'm fucking here, so I got to deal with it. Pull back, pull back, and reload. Fuck, he came. He, he pre swung. Get through the door. Get through the door, which is just there. I couldn't bloody see it. I had to back my way through it. Keep going. Keep going, Josh. Keep going, Josh. That's a lot of death already. You might be all right. Fuck! Maybe not, actually. Maybe not, actually, because this is a lot to deal with. Reload faster. Put your faith in your reloading skills. You fucking die, please? Holy shit, you're a stubborn piece of shit. You remind me of me, but less glowy. Okay. I can. I know you're fucking out there. Quit squawking your beak at me. Shut the fuck up, you flappy galah. Still more, still more. Quickly close you and take stock. I'm really hurt. Use the last of you. I should have brought more. That's real bang average by me. Um, I don't know what to do next. Chuck you then. Free up some space. Just take a moment. Take a moment to get stock. I can't get you here. And if they do, they're coming through there. I've come out to try and find the vultures wherever they may be. There's one. Can I like lean? 
I'm right on the edge here, so it's not a great position to be in, but there we go. Got you. Oh, oh, you're really close. There we go. Still some more. Okay, we're going to have to go up and sing him, though. But the steroids were a good call because it meant I could still move relatively okay. Where I am? Where I am? I don't know where you are, but I need to find you to kill you. You know what I think's happened? I think they've fallen down the stairwell. I reckon they're down the bottom somewhere. Can I find you? If I can find you, I can kill you. You on this floor? Wait. You're definitely down here somewhere. There you are. I was going to say, you're not where you should be. There you go. Took my time. Sorted you out. All right, everyone's dead. Time to pop some things and start opening junk. Oh, that was, um, that was a lot. But hey, we're alive. That should be everyone up here, right? Before I get too complacent while the sun is setting. Man, it's taken me like three whole days to do this song. Open. Nope, no one here. No one there. Hmm, okay. I still think it was the... There we go. I still think it was the right call to take the extra stealth damage to try and put that rat down. Because if I got that rat down without waking everybody up, that would have been a much better predicament for me. And turns out it all went tits up very quickly, but as happens sometimes. Nothing else really around. Okay. All right, fair enough. Then let's see what else is about. There is the night time. Okay, that's all right. I'm going to spend a little bit of time beating my way out of the door of this place so I have an easy way to get out and get to the other loot stuff. Holy shit, there's some good gubbins around. Oh, I forgot. Alpha 20 has all the good shit now where you can just open all the locked doors and things with keys. Fuck, yes, that makes everything so much better. I definitely don't need you. I'll scrap that. I'll just use you for now anyway because you're kind of just taking up room. All right, we're going to go. What's the best way to do this, actually? I think I've got I've got a couple of both. How about I just pop you and I'll just open what I can? And I'll, and I'll work my way down, actually. Yeah, I'll go down and open up the saves and things that I've got along the journey and work my way back up to the loot room. Pop loot and candy, work my way back down. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I'm just excited to still be alive, to be honest. That's a, that's a win for me. So it was everything from, like, here, wasn't it? I've got, like, no time left... Yeah, there's the red ammo crack. Got like no time left on my steroids. It's going to take me much longer to get through here and unlock everything. I might have to spend another night at Dishong. I'll unlock all of the safes and then first thing tomorrow morning, I'll uh, pop in my looting candy when my ankle's fixed so I can actually get around properly. Open you. There we go. So I have to remember it's from, from that point there. From the ramp at the first sign of rubble, that's where it starts. Yeah, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get through all this stuff because I just can't move anymore. That um, that stupidity falling down the side of the building, that's uh, that's cost me quite dearly. This is not a quick process at all. Given I can't sprint anywhere, I'm actually worried I may not be able to pick open all of the saves I found along the way before my lock picking candy runs out because I'm just like dragging my nutsack across the entire building trying to remember where all of the safes were. I do wish that there was a way to like mark it Rather than just like, just on the map, but like mark something so it had like a waypoint that you could see to lead you towards it, like on your HUD. That would be kind of nice. So like, rather than just like, it's here on the map, it's like here with like a, a height value as well. Sneak across here. The, oh, look at that though. The sight of my greatest shame. I've been so busy panicking about everything else that's been going on and my shattered ankles. I haven't even stopped to take a moment to look at the view. That's what I'm saying here tonight. Tomorrow morning is going to be serene. We're back up at the loot room again. Went reasonably decent time. Not the fastest endeavor, but we got there eventually. I don't think there were any other safes on this level. Were there? Get through the bloody wall, please. There we go. No, there was that stuff that doesn't need to be unlocked, though. I'm most just thinking from a lockpicking point of view. I think I've got everything already, don't I? Ooh, is there something... Something sneaky out here. This is a great idea, Josh. You finally beat the tower, but no. Go careening out onto the bloody scaffolding. What's the worst that could happen? Cheeky? Wait. No, not cheeky. This just leads me to, like, the next part. 
Was that the way I was supposed to go? Did I beat down that door? I don't remember. But either way, that's like all of this POI done. Nice. It's going to wait 15 minutes for my leg to heal. And then we're ready to get looting. I can't not. I came all this way to the top of the world. I have to get to the very tippy top of everything to see what I'm looking at. Up we go. All the way along. I keep hearing like little clicky clacky noises. So I'm panicking that potentially it's been like booby trapped or something. But so far so good. There's going to be nothing of actual value up here. I just want to come and have a look at it for my own, <laughs> my own well-being. Can I put you like that? Yes, I can. On you go. Get this stupid bloody satellite dish out of my way so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Piss off. There we go. Up we go. Anything in you? I mean, you want to have something good? You do not. In fact, I'll just throw all of that away because I need the inventory space for tomorrow. Oh, lag, please. You got to fucking stop doing that. Look at that, though. Look at the view we've got from up here. You can see my hometown over there, the mountain range, the pass between them. Such a good time. But either way, I'm going to camp out here and wait for the sun to crest in the east in the morning as my lockpicking candy runs out. Uh, I need to wait for my ankle to heal anyway before I go do all the looting. So we're going to have to come back and see what Dishong has in store for us to reward us for our gumption from a betting man, which I used to be. I'd probably say it'd be absolutely zero, but we'll see how that goes in the morning. We'll have to come back and be disappointed in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page of the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.